Hello and welcome to another episode of The Camping Buddies. Today joining us is Mysterio, otherwise known as Colin. We're here to talk a lot about fucking Elden Ring, boys. Um, Colin is... As we said in the last time Colin was here, he's a fucking whiz when it comes to Smash and shit. A new surprise to me, he fucks at Elden Ring. The dude is an absolute unit and it's disgusting. I, I don't even know where to begin on this. He just memorizes like every single location of every single item, at least in like the at least in like the starting game, and then he like shows us how to kill something. It, it's, it's a fucking lot. All right, just Colin, say hi. Yo, what's up? Good to be back. Love y'all. Uh, like to see that I can uh, see some faces now. Uh, I will remain a disembodied voice though, as I was you don't not got a to be on camera. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't got a nice setup like y'all, so. Uh, but it's good to be here. Thanks again for having me. Yeah, we rich, hey. rich. Don't ever forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So first, so, uh, firstly, we're just gonna go around and we're gonna talk about our builds for Elden Ring. Um. So firstly, Colin, being our guest, what is uh what is your build currently, and what are you aiming for? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with my main one. Uh, that's my highest level. Uh, being a little bit of a FromSoft veteran, uh, I decided to go with a quality build, which is a mix of dexterity and strength, so I can use pretty much any of the main melee weapons that I want. Uh, haven't specced any into faith or intelligence, so I'm missing out on all the really cool spells and stuff that... Elden Ring has to offer because it really is a lot better than what previous games have been with the magic system. Uh, but I did start some other characters to get that going. But my main one is melee focused because really, I feel like that's how the game was meant to be played. There are just uh, certain moments in like boss fights and stuff that feel like they were made for melee combat. Exactly. I I I, I can appreciate that. I agree. The the, oh, the magic pops in this fucking game. Yes, it like, does. Like you're like in the middle of like a like a muddy ass dungeon, a, like a cave, and then like this monster looks all gross, and then you see this fucking flash of blue or purple, and you're like, it's so fucking pretty to look at. And like I did confessor, which is like uh, faith and like combat based. And I'm like, kind of like itching towards more uh, magic stuff, like sorcery, just for that reason, because it looks so cool. I yeah. like uh, the distinction that they've done with the sorceries and the incantations, where sorceries is a lot of like the crystal and super magic based stuff, and the incantations are more lightning and flame based. Mm -hmm. it, oh. Can you learn like the magic stuff? With any class that you have, mm -hmm. yeah, because you can just change it later like on. Faith in, or uh, right. is it faith in mind that you would have to intelligence? Intelligence. intelligence yeah, you. mind is your FP, so right. summons and skills and spells. Right. right. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen some pretty fucking nutty ones, honestly. I so I said this a lot before. I watched uh Moist Critical. He did like all the souls like leading up to this pretty much. He did Bloodborne like fucking forever ago, but he did like all the souls leading up to this so he can like pretty much decide on if Elden Ring is harder than all of them. So he would like go by and he would do how many attempts he had until he finally beat the boss. Elden Ring immediately gave him his hardest boss. I forgot which one it was um but i swear to god looking at all the bosses he's fought in already they have so many fucking cool bosses in this game like just yeah. flashy super fucking sick bosses even the bloody fingers i um i immediately love they're so fucking cool they make your character look boring comparison <laughs> yeah seriously and but then, then you you're so just over to able to overpower them yeah yeah I think that's the that's point. It's like uh, the little the little guy getting up there and tagging yeah. with the big fish. Have Makes you seen work, that though. one fucking bot? I mean, I don't know if this is really a spoil. It's like everyone has his like helmet because I guess like 
I guess I fucking killed him. But it's this fucking one guy who's on this tiny-ass fucking anorexic horse in the middle of a desert. His moveset is goddamn insane. Dude does not stop. It's crazy. I don't know where they're training these fucking horses, but all the guys on these fucking horses are insane. Mm -hmm. They're like doing weird tricks like bobbing and weaving and they're like oh psyched you out with the fucking shield Great. yeah yeah it's yeah insane. like the sentinel the tree sentinel the first guy he's not even like controlling the horse he has his what axe in one hand and shield in the other he's not even touching the horse horse, <laughs> horse is just doing it. his own fucking thing <laughs> yeah bro that fucking tree sentinel i defeated the first storyline boss two dungeon bosses a bloody finger and uh, <laughs> I kind of cheesed a, a knight's cavalry, but mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but uh, no, I still can't fucking beat that stupid fucking tree sentinel. I fucking hate him. Right. He's he's. I get him to yeah. half, so I probably could beat him now if I like just sat there doing it for a while. But like. It, it's still kind of fucking ridiculous that it's that hard for me. You don't it's the pay golden enough guy, attention right? to yeah. the fight pattern. No, I do. No, I He's watching. actually really easy to dodge now. Mm. Yeah. Do you fight him unmounted or mounted? Mounted. Okay. Yeah, that's usually. Well, I saw someone. I uh, just watched a YouTube video today. Someone beat Bro. the tree sentinel at base level as the prisoner. Um, no horse or anything, just, like, using his flasks. I think he had, like, four flasks or something. And he was just dodging a bunch, and, like, he knew the, like, attack pattern. So he would dodge perfectly, get in a few jabs, dodge perfectly, more jabs, until it was dead. And it took, like, four, four or five minutes. And only four or five minutes I could, I could never that's honestly impressive if he's like just going in for jabs like that mm -hmm. holy shit made me um, feel small <laughs> yeah. it's a little off topic from the the boss stuff but if you're looking for a good starting weapon it's a, a weapon that's uh deals a lot of bleed damage because that accumulates over times and it fucks big it enemies was... over oh yeah like I follow this tutorial on how to get that cool ass sword, the uh, the fire and night thing, the day and night sword. Oh, and... the fire and yeah, dude, that thing's fucking OP. I've been seeing a lot of shit on that. Yeah, because if you l l even go up to level five on it, it, it like one shots enemies like completely. Dude, I saw that's what Moist oh. is using right now for his run. That shit's so stupid. He literally half health fucking bosses. Like, it's insane. Immediately, it's, it's actually crazy. But a, if you can't get that weapon, you use like a Morning Star, and um, in order to get enough souls to accumulate all this stuff for that sword, because it's twenty four intelligence and twenty four faith, you go to like this area with the giant ass dragons. So you keep fucking beating that shit up, and it won't move. And <laughs> if you keep doing it, you'll just build up enough bleed damage to go like, er, it keeps going. Like you see a little tiny smidgen go by. That's your normal hit bleeds like crunches it up Solid. Oh. the one that's weapon i one. keep seeing is the pizza cutter dude that's like you know, so one. fucking cool to me i i so i want to run a scythe i want to find a scythe but it, the second i get that fucking weapon i'm using that for like the rest of my playthrough that thing's pizza so fucking weapon. cool yeah it's pizza like cutter. it's i don't know if it's an axe or something, but it's like a big metal wheel with spikes coming off of it, and then like when you attack, you kind of do like a charge. You hit them, and it's like spinning a shit ton. Oh. It's from uh, it's from Bloodborne as well. It's also oh the Whirly Gig Saw. Uh, yeah. Yes, it's yeah. very similar to the Whirly Gig Saw, but it is not the Whirly Gig Saw, unfortunately. Uh, I I love that you guys talking about weapons that I know exactly where they are and I have them on certain characters. Uh, yeah, hold, but, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Hilly, how many, flex. how many like builds have you made, like different characters? Just one. Just one. <laughs> Colin's got. Colin, tell him, tell him how much you got. So I have three characters currently, uh, but I deleted two, so I had five at one point. 
Uh, they were all different starting classes. Uh, my main one's a samurai, and then I did the astrologer so I could do a mage build, and now I have a confessor so I could do a faith build. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, it's crazy. kind of a big fucking deal. Fucking crazy. Dude, my, so, like, bosses and weapons and all that fun shit aside, the most fun I've had on Elden Ring has probably been Colin frustratingly trying to explain something to Hector. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm <laughs> learning. You know I'm learning. We were all trying to learn how to, like, cheese the Knight's Cavalry, and Hector was so fucking lost. Oh what are you God. talking? I did. I beat it way before you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You beat it before me, and I guess that's fucking RNG. I don't know how you did that, but like, um, <laughs> the actual process of getting there, you were so fucking lost. <laughs> oh my gosh! I so couldn't good. find I the see. ramp. But that's <laughs> okay. I mean, Fuck you. you. Fair. That was a moment of uh lag in our chat so we weren't able yeah, to communicate properly on out. the path <laughs> so it was just uh, uh, what the... uh, but, uh but, that's but, all that was going on yeah he would like cut out and like it would be the most suspenseful time to cut out <laughs> like, i was about to start moving as soon as he said go to the left of this golem like this golem boss looking dude <laughs> I, was, I was about to start going and then he cut out the second i was about to start going and he's I was like, like okay so you want to go this way and then and then you and then you're good you're good <laughs> like, we're like we're just fucking panicking we're like what 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 next <laughs> that shit is so good honestly uh, if you want to go through this game really quick, just run through all the enemies and light those fucking uh, bonfires. Yeah. I've been getting through a lot of stuff that way. Yep. Yeah, I was doing a bunch of exploring today. And I, don't know, I found um the area in like the back left corner. The blood and, rot? Um, I don't know. I just remember I found this guy who's like, oh, I could teach you sorcery, but it's going to suck. Um, I don't know. Like there were these areas I would just like accidentally walk into somewhere and get my ass kicked. <laughs> just right. sums up the whole game for me. Bro, can we talk about the fucking golems? I fucking hate those pieces of shit. In the dungeons, the I fucking hate. They have bleed, so it's so oh yeah, fucking annoying. Mm. Gargoyles, ambush you. Gargoyles, sorry, gargoyles. Those shits are so fucking annoying. Oh my god. That's probably like yeah. my least favorite enemy thus far. I think everyone else is pretty cool. Is it the little guys? The little teensy guys? They're like, yeah. They're, they're like short and green. They look categories. like gargoyles. Are they in that one mine that you go into that wat that ravine? It's in the first area in Limgrave where you go down there, it's all watery and you get Was invaded. It the murky water catacombs. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. There, yep. They fucking suck. Because you have to go through them every time you die to the boss. Yep. And they're so fucking annoying. God, I hate those pieces. I hate I mean, those little shits. Once I got the hang of it, I could just run past them no problem. Like, not even get hit. Right. Just like, but oh, like, then don't mind still, me. Like, the risk of, like, your summon trying to fight mm -hmm. them through the fucking mist. And that's so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my summon kept shooting at the gargoyle that was like just barely stuck in the mist. I think while I was like trying to get the boss's attention to go to the fucking summon and like it got so messy. I had to try like ten fucking times. Yep. Dude, this is so fucking cool. So like, this is like a like a whole like D and D podcast right now. Like I just said, fucking murky water catacombs and fucking <laughs> gargoyles. This is fucking sick. What? Okay, since I heard summons, um, which is the yeah. best summon you guys came across? Like the uh, the spirits or something? I just do what Colin tells me. Colin. <laughs> What's the best well, summon that you've seen so far? Uh, 
All right, keep your secrets. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, probably, yeah, he told us to get the jellyfish, though, because the jellyfish, the jellyfish has a really big health bar. Damage, but I know what the best summon in the game is. Is it the marionettes? No, it is the mimic. Oh, I know about the mimic. I saw a oh, video mimic, on it. Yeah. So yeah, the mimic. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, Alyssa, do you know about the mimic? Do you play this game? No. Nope. Shit, you're just so sitting there it. quietly, like, you just buy them. Sit through this Elden Ring crap and then next yeah. topic. <laughs> I'm learning for when I do get it. Uh, As if. if. The, but, so the mimic is like, is it like a having a second you? Yeah, basically. Pretty much. Like full health, full abilities, all that. Yep. I think same. Well, actually, I'm not I sure if he so. has your full health or if he has half your health. Because when you summon him, it takes half your health. Really? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Oh, just it's a video. Magicka. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it a Magicka that uses your HP. I just saw a video go a video when a guy used his mimic. It didn't take away any of his health. Oh wait, so wait, so what you're saying, Kelly, is that you can have the choice of it taking your FP or taking your HP? It sounds like it. It wouldn't be surprising if it wasn't. Alright. Well yeah, no, he's oh. busted. Ah, Colin! I'm oh. back. Yeah, sorry there about he is. that. <laughs> uh, had some technical difficulties on my end, uh, involving computers dropping, but it's fine. <laughs> you dropped your... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it, we're still in Discord, we're still in it, baby. <laughs> yeah, we're good, we're good. Uh, All right. So, did you hear the question? Uh, yes, I did. Summons. Uh, well, I... I've found there to be quite a few different good ones, uh, but it really kind of depends on what you're looking for in the situation. Uh, specifically bosses, I really only use summons as a distraction. So uh, there are, there's one summon in particular, the Skeletal Militiamen. The Dude, just that's the one I wanted to bring up. That th yeah, I just yeah. saw one today, that shit's nuts. Yeah, it's just, it's really good because of the resurrection mechanic that skeletons have, and it just means that they'll keep coming back and remain a distraction so long as you can distract the boss long enough to not hit them when they're in their down state. Uh, other than that, though, there are some really cool legendary summons that I won't mention because they're cool to discover on your own, uh, but they're singular uh, summons particularly. Uh, but they're just really cool, like, almost NPC-like individuals that you can summon to help you out. Those two skeletons were helping me out with this fucking magma drake. And I there was another summon right next to it. It was this big, bulky guy in armor. I was like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, this guy's going to get me. But then those skeletons kept coming up and just resurrecting. They helped me on a fucking pinch. They're so fucking good. Seriously. Can you only use one summon at a time? If you're in a, you can't summon them more than once. And once they die, they die. No, uh, like, they like can only say you have the militiamen, skeletons, the and the jellyfish. Mm -mm. No. Not that I know. Even if one of them dies and then you want to summon another, you can't. You can't. Wow. Sucks. Man. That is kind of weird, though. I feel like if. So, like, what the fuck is a flask even for then for that? Because, like. Is it... <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, Jer was talking about earlier today. It's like, I, if I'm sacrificing my flask uh, allocation with more than magic, I should be able to summon more uh, more than once. Yeah, exactly. Maybe that just like breaks the game though. Like, if you just keep having summons, then you'll probably like beat a boss pretty fucking easy. Yeah, yeah I think I it's guess. it's more of a numbers game for the summons because there are some summons that allow you to summon up to five individual. Uh, like creatures, so I think if they allowed you to summon more than one particular summons, you just have too many uh, things on like the field. Like thirty summons on the field. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> then there's multiple that like gives you like five and five or four and three and two. Like, uh, but the really like strong individual ones are usually just if they come alone by themselves. So the one we were talking about while your laptop was dropped was the mimic. <laughs> Yeah, the mimic sense. i've seen that one that one people see like that one and i see why 
because if it is just another you on the playing field, that's mm -hmm. great. Specifically because it also gets your flasks. It will heal itself if given the opportunity. Mm. It can. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It, it's your entire build, so whatever you take into and then summon that mimic, yeah. it gets all that stuff. And so does it take any like health or FP away from you when you summon it? Nope, it's its own individual self. Boom. I mean, other than the FP. FP cost to summon it, but it's it's, oh, its okay. own stuff. Hmm. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. interesting. I gotta fucking uh, find it. Yeah, I gotta fucking find that thing. That's a, that shit sounds so cool. Um, um it's uh underground. Oh. Wait, Start is digging. it is it in that motherfucking is it down the elevator by chance? Maybe. That that was a good Whoa. guess. Whoa. There's a thousand Whoa. fucking I've... elevators in this game. <laughs> the the longest I've... elevator. I Is promise you it's hill? the six, only the one that's the longest elevator. elevator. Five minute elevator. Yeah. The snake eater <laughs> elevator. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking callback to last fucking <laughs> this motherfucker as if we were supposed to know what snake eater was. Yeah. <laughs> Colin, like, do you're you... gonna look like a real fool. Wait, this is <laughs> if if he doesn't know it, I'm fucking wrong forever. Colin, have you heard of this uh, the ladder scene in Snake Eater? The ladder scene in Snake Eater. You're wrong forever. Ah, uh, it doesn't ring a bell, unfortunately. In Metal Gear Solid 3, yeah. Snake was climbing up a ladder and it is so fucking long that the intro started to play, and by the time you're up there, it's done. So I guess I'm wrong forever. <laughs> Damn. Aww, <laughs> fucking nerd. <laughs> fucking that's like nerd. A, that's like such an obscure fucking reference, too. That's like that's I guess. like. I feel like um, like you could have fucking like referenced Max Payne at that point. Like, who the fuck is gonna know that shit? I know a little bit about Max Payne. I only played. And two, you would though. know a little bit about Max Payne because you know about Snake Eater, and the latter scene. <laughs> okay. Fair. So are we good on Elden Ring? Is it good for the next topic? Oh, I gotta no. find a next. I'm... No. Okay. I'm still going on Elden Ring. I still want to oh, fucking pop off. Sorry. Uh, have you guys been seeing that people get uh guts guts's sword guts's guts sword from? Mm -hmm. I've seen character creation of guts but i haven't seen a sword yet yeah they got yeah it's shit. super easy it's to shop. get yeah, it's in a shop isn't it no it's in uh it's one in one of those carriages but it's one of the broken down ones uh that's like in front of the gateway where you get the lord's sword great sword and the flail uh but it's in a different one in the Kalid region oh it's over there yeah it's well it's guarded by those like Tyrannosaurus doggos. Oh, uh, the Chihuahua things? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scrappy Doo, the live action Scooby Doo movie. <laughs> yeah, that's what they look like. Uh, um, when he's in his monster form, that's exactly what they look like. Uh, oh, that's going to be on the thumbnail. No, oh, no, that's going to be perfect. Don't spoil too much. We'll say it has a hefty weight cost more than anything. So, quite a bit. It's the size of a surfboard, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe bigger. That shit's <laughs> bigger than a surfboard? That shit was huge. I want to. I fucking saw so many scythes when I was fighting the boat, bitch, but I didn't get it. I'm so upset. Oh. There's yeah. So so that one is farmable. I heard it's called the grave scythe or gra graveyard scythe. Uh, you can get from those enemies, but there's two other scythes that you can just pick up, uh, decently early. Uh, one's just a like normal scythe, but the other is called the wing scythe. Uh, and it's in the Weeping Peninsula of Limgrave, so south. And it scales off of faith, but it has a really good, really damaging and staggering uh, skill where you can like leap up in the air and do a slash, and then you do a landing slash with it. So uh, pretty dope. I want it. I'm getting that one. We're doing that tonight. <laughs> Bet. I'm getting that tonight. I want to get bleed oh. tonight for sure. There's um, 
There's this one katana I saw. Oh, sick as shit. Oh, I saw someone did a build of um Ichigo from Bleach. That's pretty he had, sick. <laughs> he had like two of his swords, and then I saw there was like a quick move you can do, like a quick dash move. With like oh. daggers? Just like no, just like a move you can do. I don't fucking know. You're talking about the bloodhound step or whatever? Because we have that. Yeah, you we have got that. that. From the Knights Cavalry. Like where what? they're like where they're like fading around you, like they're fucking ultra instinct Goku. No, or, like where you're fading around them rather. Let me see if I saved it. That's Are you talking about, a, talk about it, basically like a super dash? Uh, All right, we just watch TikToks real quick. You guys go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) All right, um, Ichio, Colin, what has been your favorite experience about Elden Ring so far? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the. Pretty sure that's the blood. Oh, I got invaded with a from a lady who had that. Wait, time. restart the video. I'm pretty sure uh, yeah, pretty it sure moved. Blood. Yeah, that's. He didn't even like do it. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. That's the bloodhound step. We have yeah, that. you I have that. Do that. It's an aspect yes. of war. You just need to put it. Go to a grace point and put it on a weapon that you can put a uh, ash of war on. I keep forgetting to do that. I've been wanting. To... I, I don't know do shit that about with, this like, game, dude. So, I... when you know doing the storyline. <laughs> I don't read anything. I really <laughs> gotta start reading. This dude went through the tutorial. No, you want to know what my I, I, favorite part has been? Uh, Colin, my favorite part was when you were talking me through the pumpkin head bridge, dude, and Hector yeah. killed Alexander. That was really sad, honestly. Oh! <laughs> was he the pot guy? The pot yeah, guy, the pot yeah. Guy. <laughs> He, Colin he was, like, was walking me through the pumpkin head, and he, he thought he was ta- Hector thought he was talking to him. So okay, he was so like, All right, Colin's like trying to guide killer. both of us through like different oh, parts, no. and he's he tells me like go up here and talk to this guy and like set him free or whatever. I'm like okay, bet. And I think you said like make sure you hit him from the back because his head is really heavily guarded. And then I hit him, <laughs> and then he's free. And then I guess he said to Miles like. Once he gets in his stance, just use light moves. And then right as he said that, the pot guy goes into, like, this stance. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> he's in his stance now. I'm going to just do a shit ton of light moves. And I murk him. And he, he just dies. <laughs> it was so sad. That's probably, like, my favorite NPC. Here's the thing. Oh. It's okay, though, because now you just have to start a new character anyway. So you're going to have multiple characters, heck. I mean, I was planning on doing... I think I want to do a Confessor next. Yeah. yeah. They got the coolest. I like their starting... Yeah. Uh, I want to do my Samurai, more melee stuff, and then Confessor with more, like, sorcery and spells and shit. He, that fool was talking about a festival, and I've been looking up and down for that fucking place. Where is same. it? Same! Fucking same! He said it was... There was a cool I festival... Like... Over there, I'm like, where the fuck is it? Gonna mark it on my map. <laughs> the festival is in Kaled. I'm gonna write on my hand real quick. Spoiler. Should just <laughs> let him find it. Well, okay, no. Here's the thing. Um, the festival is. It involves a boss who is a shard bearer, and it's also it really. I told you guys this last night, but really. The order in which you should explore the areas is Limgrave first, including the Weeping Peninsula uh, down south. And then you go through Stormvale and all of that, which you don't technically have to go through them to get to the next area. You can go around the castle if you don't want to go through it. Um, But then you go to the next area called Lyernia. Uh, Once you clear through there, then you can go to Kaelid, which would really be the next area that you stumble upon, because it's right next to Limgrave, your starting area. So, what I don't like... What's the biome like in there? Uh, What? What, What's the biome like in Kaelid? Is it like a swampy place? So, there is one main swamp that uh, 
will mess you up if you try to walk through it. Uh, you're safe on your mount, though. Go through. Uh, but mainly, it's kind of just like a wasteland. And a lot of uh, stuff would want to kill you. Some fire. Uh, some big doggos and birds. Okay, when you're looking at the map, what's it look like? Is it like the red area? Yeah, so essentially Limgrave is the green, uh, yep. Stormvale Castle, and south, and everything that is green. And then immediately east is Kalid, all the red. That right. place sucks. Kalid's <laughs> really the third area of the game, or later, even, if you want. But it shouldn't be explored if you haven't really beaten Limgrave yet. So... He said it was in a castle somewhere. Is that? I uh, probably asked too the much. festival. Yes, it's yeah. There's there is uh, basically if if you have the map open uh, and like available, you have the map fragments. You'll be able to see uh, the map obviously and the red, and you'll notice in Kalid that there is a section of the map that doesn't look like it has any landmarks. It's just like a blank red battlefield. And that's basically the festival, but how you get to it is through the castle that is close by to that battlefield. Okay. Yeah. Is it a good festival? Is it like a... Are there nice people there? Yeah. <laughs> or do they all want to kill you? It's, I would say, it's honestly one of the cooler uh, boss fights, in my opinion. So they yeah. want to kill you. Yeah. Fuck. Well, it's. I will say this: most of the castles, you have to clear them as you go through them. You won't have to do that with this one, but once you beat the boss, for some reason, people will move in. Oh. So yeah. the party got to start if you kill that boss. Yeah, essentially. What lazy fuckers! <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. there's <laughs> reason which honestly this game's lore is amazing i know it can be a slog for some people because you have to do a lot of reading in item descriptions and stuff and just a lot of listening to npcs uh but in this game in particular uh this lore is amazing and uh honestly i i would i love elden ring to the extent that the only FromSoft game that i like more is still bloodborne bloodborne was a really Same cool here. style it was just a really cool style. I think, um, see, like, out of every Soul game that I wanted to play before this, it was definitely Bloodborne. But now that Elden Ring is here, I I think, in my opinion, I, I'm not a, I have never been a Souls guy, but in my opinion, I think I actually like Elden Ring more. I just think, like, just the amount of shit that you can discover is just on a fucking different dimension. Like, it's it's absolutely it, fucking insane. It makes, like, if, okay, so the last, like, good, like, actual Souls game was Dark Souls 3, and it makes it look like a fucking beta test compared to Elden Ring. Seriously? So expansive. Like, we keep exploring new shit every single day, and you think, like, the map is going to be like, okay, it's just going to be this, and then Limpgrave, and then the castle, big boss, end game, whatever. No. There's a desert. There's a fucking, like, snow area that I haven't even fucking seen. There's a fucking volcano area. I'm like, what the fuck? And, yeah. oh, and then there's a whole crazy. ass different dimension under the fucking map. And that's just huge. Right, because in Dark Souls 3, there were, I think in like in all Souls games, there's like this one secret spot. Like, it's not even explained. It's not even like an IP handed to you. It's some place that's like, you gotta do something secret in order to go in. So now I was like wondering, which what's that spot for Elden Ring? Yeah, it's, it's really fucking cool. Um... What was what was I gonna say? The um underground exploration is so fucking beautiful. Like if that was the game, like even if we didn't have Limgrave or whatever the fuck, like everything else, right? I would still fuck with that game heavily. Like the underground is such a cool fucking addition to the game. Oh my gosh. Um, another thing I wanted to ask really quick, Colin, that you might know the well, you definitely know the answer to this. 
Um, so the festival that Kelly was talking about earlier. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I fucked up. I just realized this. Uh, about something in a second. Um, <laughs> so, wh what is? Who is the shard bearer? Is it the dung eater? I feel like it'd be the dung eater. Uh, no. So actually, uh, I would recommend uh when you make another character to just uh watch. Through the opening thing again because it actually separates uh the shard bearers and demigods that they're talking about and then they start talking about other uh tarnished who were resurrected uh with you and so the dung eater is actually one of the tarnished that got resurrected is it that red or, guy uh, he is so he appears in the round table hold eventually and he'll the be an npc eater yeah yeah, they're mm -hmm. eating shit like. That's. <laughs> he's like, I think I see him like where he's. <laughs> he's like uh, surrounded by like corpses or something. He's like, he looks like an invader. Uh, the dungeon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's probably that was probably him. Um, but <laughs> the. The boss, the festival boss, uh, he he was in the opening credits. He was appearing uh, to be fighting another boss in the series. That's what I'll say. This game is so fucking cool. Um, it's so connected to like Dark Souls in some way? Uh, no, no, no. Just the opening credits of Elden Ring uh, when it shows you like all the beautiful artwork that it has to offer. There's a scene where it shows two bosses on a battlefield fighting each other. Uh, one of those bosses is the boss of the festival. Oh. Ooh, here's a good question for you guys. Who the fuck is Mommy in Elden Rings? Because Melina still got my fucking heart. <laughs> she told me I ain't got no maidens, but shit. I mean, I might just pick one up. You <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Who's that like... four armed witch? What's her name? Just four what? arms. She has four arms. The one that gave you summons. The witch of. Uh... She yeah. was like blue and glowy. <laughs> yes, she was cool. She had four arms. Yeah, I didn't really notice that. Did she, she really have four arms? Sick. I, I thought she anything. was really cool. Oh, uh, let's see Bitch. that forehead, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> dude looks like he's like looking at his discord like where's my kitten <laughs> hold on her name is Rani the witch yeah Rani the witch she has another name though what is you got name? some real nice eyes <laughs> thank you <laughs> Damn! And then there's this red-haired, red-headed girl. She's got like the big old thing of red hair on her arms, a robot arm. Uh, Merida. Oh. Merida. Merida's cool. <laughs> Wait. What? No, that's our name. I know nothing. <laughs> she doesn't know shit, dude. <laughs> it's oh, something with an M. Name? I know. Mer yeah, it's there's a cool. lot of M's. Melina is fucking sick, though. Melina, <laughs> Melina, whatever the fuck her name is. She's so fucking cool. Immediately, even though she told me I get no bitches, I was just hooked on her. It's cool. Oh, who's you're, that you're asshole at the very degradation beginning? shit. Yeah, I fucking guess so. Who's the fucking asshole at the beginning who also said we get no bitches? The mask like, he's guy. Just, yeah, he's just standing there. He's like, oh yeah. Yeah, you get no bitches. Yeah, you got no maidens. <laughs> Hector legitimately Hector legitimately was talking to me yesterday and if saying and literally instead of saying you get no bitches, you said you get no maidens. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You 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 have no maidens. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh Roger. Roger's a cutie. I would date Roger. Yeah, have you guys met Roger? Um Roger. does he want you to He's... take your does he want you to take his fort back? No. Uh, Roger, he can help you fight the very first boss. He'll give you his rapier later on in a quest line. 
but like you get to meet him in a certain spot and he's like so easy to talk to and he's like kind of funny and i was like oh that's kind of cute so he's like my so you got the mommy and daddy i think daddy's roger right now does he have long oh. lengthy sexy chest hair i've well <laughs> <laughs> god if he did, it's over. Love long if he did, hair. it's over. <laughs> Lengthy. I'll take a pick at this gentleman right quick. Let's take a look at that. Um, by the way, so you guys wanted to add more topics. Um, we've been talking about Elden oh, for yeah. 40 fucking minutes. 40 minutes. This fucking oh, fool right cool. here. I like that. On the left? Uh, on the yeah. right, the, that that fool, uh, oh. finger, right there. No, nope. uh, fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you even see his face though? A little bit. You got a peek. A little peek. A little, peek, peek. A little peek. Um, I got a peek. Oh. <laughs> uh, All right. anyway. I think I think that's enough yeah, of Elden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We need, we need to move on so Alyssa can actually speak. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so right. I do have a list of conspiracy theories now. We'll do that one. There we go. Ooh, that'd be fun. All right. Um, let me pull that up really quick. Oh. Is he going to start off with Sonic? Oh, if he could start <laughs> off. Yeah. Dude, I saw. Wait, did you say Sonic? You said Sonic. I said it. I saw someone made a Sonic build in Elden Ring. Yeah, that shit was so funny looking. It was uh, like all blue dressed and you would do like a little lightning roll. <laughs> it was so you'd make a sound, you'd be like, ah! And then you kept rolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> alright, alright. So, uh, I'm going to run through a list of these conspiracies. And you guys are going to tell me your thoughts on them. Uh, Colin being first since he is our guest. So, uh, the moon landing was fake. Oh my god, I... <laughs> well, I recently wow. learned that both my aunt and mom think that the moon landing was faked. Your mom? Fucking, of course your mom. Yeah, uh, I know, I... Yeah, uh... that makes sense. White people are gullible. <laughs> Them being gullible should mean that they believe in the moon landing, though. Wait, so do you not oh, believe? she's a denier. You just out yourself, Alyssa. <laughs> oh, God. They actually believed it, those fuckers. <laughs> um, but legit, legit. Um, they actually believe the guy who directed, uh, the Shining directed that sequence for the moon landing. That's like the popular theory going around. Yeah, it's it's gonna sound crazy, and I don't one hundred percent believe it. But the Russians but... tried to do the same thing, and they failed. They kept doing tests over and over again, and we did it the first time, and then got everyone back safely. That kind of. It wasn't the first time. It was the first time we said people, but I think I mean we had a million like rocket smaller scale rocket tests. Yeah, I meant that meaning people. Like people uh this is the very first successful mission of people going to the moon and then coming back alive. And that's in the sixties. Alive. Um, so I, I kind of agree yeah. with that, um, but th I mean, at the same time, there's always going to be a first person to do it. Like if the Russians were the first person or first people to get to the moon, then that's just something that we'd believe, you know? Did, like, oh, did they have the first there. satellite? Russians, yeah, Russians yeah that the scared the United States Sputnik? into the space race. Yeah. Yeah. And the theory is that they were like, "Fuck, we can't lose to these guys, so we have to do something quick." So. They oh, hired old Stanley Kubrick to direct a fucking little montage. <laughs> That's uh, why, yeah. Allegedly. Uh, yeah, allegedly. Oh, guys. Yeah. So, um, wait, but Colin, what was your stance on that? You were I'm supposed sorry, to go first. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> oh, no, you're good. I just, 
I so what I, the reason I mentioned my other relatives believing in such things is because I asked them about why and um keep your secrets <laughs> and everything just it's fine uh no I just don't see a particular reason as to why if it really was about like oh a space race and faking something like that the Russians put a satellite in space why would faking putting people on a desolate sphere circling our planet be beneficial to winning the space race quote um i, I just don't see the point it, obviously it's... if it was real for one uh we saw people go up in a shuttle for one thing and then mm -hmm. they came back down for another thing uh so if they didn't go to the moon when they went up in space what what were they doing up there exactly all right yeah just uh, cracking open a cold one. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, best beer ever, but, you know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so that actually brings me to the next uh, conspiracy theory, mega structures. So if you guys are unfamiliar with that conspiracy theory, it's basically that uh, stuff like the moon, the pyramids, and shit like that is all like uh alien made and like actually mm. like uh, like kind of like how the death star fucking works like it, it, it like there's a whole like thing going on inside the moon Wait, the moon i don't think so pyramids and shit quite possibly but the moon i don't think so because like other planets it's... have moons even planets like all the other no, planets not, don't even I have mega structures <laughs> Like, what would be the point, though? Like, those planets aren't even know, inhabited. Yeah, no, there's that the moon. we know of. So, what, what would I'm, the purpose be? So, so, so mega structures. <laughs> so, I, if it's anyone want to talk, I'm a motor mouth. So, if you guys want to just shut me up, <laughs> let me know. Hey, you can show me that motor mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 um, so YouTube recommends me some cool history videos that I watch sometimes, and the theory goes for mega structures, say the pyramid, uh, that's the biggest thing in that fucking time ever. That's the biggest structure in the world, as far as they fucking know. So, so a lot of people volunteered to to help build this shit. Um, I'm not sure if they were. Some say they were slaves, but th I've heard the video said like it was a. Uh, they were volunteers. All right, it's yeah, so it was cotton that. picking, <laughs> volunteer based activity. Just to like be, just to be a part of history. You know what I mean? Like, like my blood, sweat, and tears helped to bring this fucking big ass structure up. You know, it's pretty exciting having your name on like a a movie. You know, that would be kind of interesting. Your name's right there. It's immortalizing this fucking thing. People immortalize themselves into this fucking structure that was made. I feel like they didn't really care about like making history back then, like because yeah. they didn't really have any like much of a documented history from before them. Well, not not I nearly. Think, I think their history then. is just thinking locally in their own little uh, their place, yeah. not like to the grand scheme of the whole planet, but uh, to. But that like they don't have like a manifesto of all the people that helped build the pyramid, you know, like. Yeah, they don't have uh, like a little memorial like, thing. It was definitely like very slave based. Now, when you were saying like putting your name on the pyramid, all I could think about was like, imagine if some poor little Egyptian guy was like putting his crush's name and his name and like a little heart on just one like of the carving books. a little heart, and then he just like walk and then like he just sees them like working together. With, she's like working together with a different dude, and he's just like. <laughs> It's stupid anyway. <laughs> what's an X through the heart carving? Yeah. Colin, what's your consensus on mega structures? Uh, well, particularly for starters, with the moons, uh, I I would say Earth is is weird in that scenario. Most of the other planets have multiple moons. Why do we only have one? You know, um, well, we're other one of the smaller planets, right? 
Yeah. I mean, I yeah. It is a mass thing. Yeah. Um, but also uh, with structures on Earth, such as the pyramids, yeah, the pyramids are cool and whatnot. Um, I think, speaking of grand scheme, though, uh, we're looking at it from a far too human aspect because there are certain structures that are ancient in the world that to this day we cannot replicate how they were created and we don't yeah. know how they were created and i think that's fascinating and terrifying all at the yeah. same time yeah th wasn't so aren't like the mayan or aztec uh temples like aren't they like de too detailed to have been done with like primitive tools and shit like that like more than yeah, just the mayan their stuff. pyramids in the south uh south america are uh, they're crazy like, there's one where, like, you clap from outside it, and then it, like, echoes off of it, and it makes, like, a bird chirp or something. I think that was a joke for tourism. I saw that video, too. Oh, it was a joke? I think so. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's other... I remember talking about it in a different episode. There was, like, this super hard piece of rock. Like, I don't know if it was granite, some kind of stone, that was so precisely cut like even like the hieroglyphs carved into it like we can't even replicate it cuz we don't have anything that can cut the rock let alone how detailed they had it cut right like just completely unexplainable stuff mhm mm it isn't it really doesn't make sense like i don't really know where i'm getting this information from either though like what, i mean what other part... mega structures are there other than the pyramids um stonehenge stonehenge the easter island eggheads mm. or eggs at head heads heads the heads what's so crazy about stonehenge though it's just rocks and circles yeah right? but how did they get they're there stacked on top of each stacked? other pulleys right sure but why yeah why? Yeah, there was, there That's was no the fucking mystery. Yeah, there's no like significance to them being there that we know of. Right. So, and then like, there's like a theory that there's like body, like there's actual like bodies under the heads. I think it isn't I, there. There's not a theory. There is. We've dug them up. Oh, we've dug them up. Yeah, you guys haven't seen the full pictures? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's video. So, like, the big heads, basically, there were bodies underneath. But then there's also videos of people moving them through, like, a rope system. Uh, uh, like, they would have used, it. yeah, essentially. But uh, in front and on each side with people with ropes and stuff. It was cool. I have to look that up after this. That's not really a mega structure though either. I don't really know why we're bringing up those two, unless there's like a mega structure under it. It's or still like. Since we're a little off topic anyway, though, have you guys heard Aztec death whistles? No death whistles. No. They are haunting and amazing. What? Uh, essentially, what the history behind them is is the Aztec warriors. Uh, in order to unsettle uh, invaders or people that they were trying to scare away. Uh, while the people were sleeping in the forests and jungles and whatnot, the Aztec warriors would circle around them and hide in bushes and blow these whistles. And these whistles sound like howling banshees. Uh, so you're not getting a good night's sleep if these things are going off in the bushes near you. Oh, um, yeah, uh, it's pretty amazing. I would recommend looking up uh, what they sound like because where can I buy one? That's that's, that's a good question. <laughs> if, I, if I wake up in the middle of the night to a banshee sound honk when I'm in Washington, <laughs> I'm literally getting out of my bed and, gra and purchasing a, a weapon. Like <laughs> purchasing a weapon. <laughs> purchasing a weapon and it's already too around. late by then. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You think you could 3D print me a death whistle? Maybe. <laughs> I actually probably could. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's not happening. Um, another fucking so two more that I wanted to talk about for this uh episode, at least for conspiracy theories. Um, 
was Skinwalkers. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Before we continue, no, Alyssa, I am oh. so sorry. Why? <laughs> she has said she has been able to say like maybe five words in this podcast. <laughs> Yeah. Alyssa, what is your <laughs> consensus on skinwalkers? Oh, I don't believe in that, but mostly because if I believe in it, I'd be terrified. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I have too many fears of shit like that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's just yeah. terrifying. Um, that's why I don't believe in feminism. Everyone, everyone's head just like tilted (laughs) just because it's women's day i didn't even know that that's the crazy part we talked about it earlier i don't think they're like really making a big deal out of it because they don't want to get drafted for the war Ooh. I've seen the nothing but women You're talk fucking... about it today. I've seen like two posts. I've maybe. seen tons. Jesus Christ, Hog. Someone pull a fucking sexist whistle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I see too much shit on skinwalkers. I'm just like, me and when the skinwalker comes up and he's like super scary, I don't fucking care. I, it's been overdone. <laughs> There's like a bajillion games based off of skinwalkers. The initial idea is cool. It's like these feral fucking creatures coming after you. And then it's like, it's creepy. Yeah. I'm trying to mimic you. Mm-hmm. No, wait, when we say skinwalker, uh, yeah. uh, what exactly are we talking about? Because when I hear skinwalker, I think of lycanthropy, uh, werewolves, because that's what that really is. Uh, they're like say, shapeshifters, more, right? Like, yeah, so like they're more of like a thing that like lures you in with like humanoid uh sounds and then like it kills you and takes your features and like try like tries to be you so it can get more prey so in my brain i understand that as a ghoul it's a ghoul yeah interesting mm-hmm. oh yeah that that's kind of ghoulish features I've something seen, like, well, something that requires to be uh, the feast off of humans and then a mimics what the creatures that they feasted off of. Well, I don't know if they have to eat them in order to mimic them, but like I've seen like uh, little TikToks that are like really creepy, obviously fake, but like really creepy. It's um, like these people who are like just walking through like these fields or whatever and then like there's two people right and then like one dude says hey come over here and then like they look at each other and none of neither of them said anything but like it sounded like one of them and they're like what the fuck so that was like a faked thing I mean, I fucking hope so, because if it wasn't, then (laughs) my friends, we are fucked. (laughs) If if they were real, if they were 100% real, which one of us do you think would be a skin a skinwalker, or a ghoul, whatever you want to call it? Yes. (laughs) 100% Kelly, 100% Kelly. That's not even a question. I don't know. No offense. I don't know if you're even human when you talk about Snake Eater. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm letting my uh, Skinwalker sideshow. The Skinwalker or Snake Eater. I guess Skinwalkers can eat snakes. I don't fucking know. I'm trying to connect it together. I don't know why, though. <laughs> I fucking failed. But, like, there's a lot more different, like, mm, mystical creatures or whatever to be scared of rather than skinwalkers there's like scps which i don't even know what that really like what? stands for but those secure are contain like... and protect yeah those things those, those are pretty things cool are nuts. there's one that's like basically like a weeping angel like every time you turn around it gets closer but it's like the speed of light so it's basically this giant concrete doll looking thing it's scp138 it's... And yeah. it's uh, 
you can't blink you have to make direct contact and it's room fills up with shit and blood and the people put in there are like d-class people which are prisoners basically just prisoners but uh taken from their prisons put into the lab to like do menial work for these things and if you break eye contact with them they'll i, th- I think initially they'll it'll just snap your neck i think um i thought it was more of like since it's made out of concrete or just like something really really hard it literally just like mows through you i've heard it snaps your neck i might be wrong i don't know but there's a there's a lot of those fucking things there's there's a lot of uh cps and they're fucking they're all terrifying honestly i think skinwalkers are actually one of them or whatever, yeah. whatever you want to call them. It's like an internet forum that's just slowly growing with SCPs, and they just decide which ones are canon. Yeah. Um, there's one conspiracy theory that my parents believed in for quite a bit when I was in high school. Um, I don't know why they believed it, but they like convinced me for a day, and then I'm like, actually talking with normal people about it and they're like what the fuck are you talking about (laughs) so for a hot minute my parents believed that the world was flat and it was covered over a fucking dome (laughs) because if you launch something up like some home like this is like a homemade video these guys throwing a camera up in the air like as high as they fucking can and it bonked and hit something and fell back down and it was called operation fish tank or something and there's something in an antarctica that's connected everything there's like a treaty with all the countries not to go to antarctica and you see presidents going there for some fucking reason and um i don't know (laughs) yeah and then like my dad was like yeah are you like had it feel watching that video because you showed me a fucking video i was like uh (laughs) pretty fucking dumb actually for a second i believed it and i was like I'm kind of scared. Like, why? <laughs> and I just kind of fucking got over it. Like, what the hell are they talking about? Yeah, there's like plenty of things disproving that, though. A lot of a yeah. lot of these theories about like the government kind of shit. You got to think like, if we're all humans, how the fuck would we fool like so many generations of us to that to that to believe that? You know what I mean? Like, if it was a fishbowl thing, like, I'm pretty sure we'd fucking notice by now, you know? Like, by some stroke or miracle or whatever. Like, I don't know. Also, there was another conspiracy theory on that list that had something to do with Antarctica, and it said that there's a secret Nazi base there. What the fuck? Yeah. I don't Nazi really know. base? Yeah, I don't really know what to do with that information, but I'll just leave it alone, I guess. I hope it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it is, like... What the fuck? Where's the location? Where's the coordinates? <laughs> <laughs> I want my triangle. <laughs> I want my Nazi badge. Where is it? <laughs> Jesus. Um, You know what? I will be real. I already shit my pants talking about these conspiracy theories. Let's move on. Um, we only have one more thing to talk about, and we are literally, like, already over, like, an hour, so... One more topic, we got one more topic. And it's gonna be Funimation and Crunchyroll. I love the idea of putting everything onto Crunchyroll, I do, but where the fuck is my dub One Piece? It's not on Crunchyroll yet, and all, all these other things are, and I don't know what the fuck... Because they're not adding anything else to Funimation. It's all going on Crunchyroll now. I think they're finishing off what they have going on Funimation still. Until that series ends. I think that's what I said. I heard they're not going to be adding anything at all more to Funimation. It's all going to be on Crunchyroll from that certain date on. Who does the dubs for... uh... For it, does it, it is yeah. uh, Funimation. Ex- it's Funimation exclusive dubs. That's the thing. So, so oh. like, I don't. So Netflix has dubs for Evangelion. Is that 
kind of the same thing. Um, I no, I don't think so. I think like so, so like Funimation exclusive dubs. I think entails like you're gonna be hearing a lot of like familiar uh, voices. Like I hear Zoro, All my fucking yeah, like Berlin those same Usopp voice actors. And... They just recycle. Mm. Piccolo is also Zoro. <laughs> so or no is that vegeta i don't fucking know one of those you know like um you're just gonna hear a lot of like reoccurring voices and i think that that's what makes it reoccurring any other dub is just like something that was decided i guess um but i don't know where the fuck my dub is it's not there no episode on crunchyroll for one piece is dubbed yet and i already canceled my subscription for funimation since it's moving to crunchyroll so I'm a little concerned. <laughs> I think what Alyssa said was probably accurate. They just want to finish up like, like the newer stuff and then put all of it in one thing to encourage people to get a subscription for Crunchyroll. Like you, you like could one check it right now because yeah, like so... the day was like a week or two ago that no, like so the actual I, shift was gonna be. I think be... I have my Funimation. Yeah, yeah already, check if the new Attack on Titan episodes are on there. Yeah, but like, I don't know, like, so they're going to be keeping the Funimation app and everything that was on it. I don't know how long for, but like, I don't know about things like with Hulu and Netflix and I don't know, any other apps that were out there. Maybe it's going to Netflix because of the live action stuff. It better fucking not. It better fucking not. I mean, I think the live action is not going to be that that bad. I mean, I'd still have uh, low four. expectations, but yeah, keep them like very low. Um, mm. I think the I don't know. I, I just they better fucking move it. Is all I'm saying. Because, like, I've been checking, like, almost daily on both to see if they've added it on Funimation and to see if they've added any dubs to fucking Crunchyroll. Why don't you and, Google like, it? Like a... I did. So they, they have a list of things that they're adding. Uh, things that are coming to Crunchyroll is Attack on Titan in general, My Heroes, um, fucking all, the, all those seasons. Uh, the sub and dub for, I think, not, not Haiku, um... Fuck. Uzaki Chan, Uzaki Chan, whatever the fuck her that one, uh, big titty, silver haired bitch. Yeah. You know that. Um, there's another one that they're adding as well, but there's it's a pretty short fucking list, and I didn't see one piece on there. I saw a really long list. I need to know where you saw this really long list because I was looking on the actual Crunchyroll like website. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> needless to say, yeah, if my dub One Piece isn't coming out anymore, maybe you're just a little too fashion. attached to dub One Piece. Yeah, maybe just start watching sub. I'm not gonna fucking sub watch sub One Piece. I'm literally. It's almost over, right? <laughs> I'm already like seven hundred something episodes into dub. I'm not switching now. If I have to fucking rate it, I'm over it. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. I just ugh. I don't know how I feel about Crunchyroll though. I never really liked Crunchyroll. Funimation seemed like a better platform to me. I feel like it's more exactly. colorful and like a lot more easy to like navigate. Like Crunchyroll, yeah. you have to go to my list, like the actual my list tab, in order to see anything that you're currently watching, which is just really fucking annoying. I'm hoping since they do this whole like merger thing that they like upgrade their operating system and like make it a lot easier to use and like well, actually look nice. The weird thing is too is that Funimation is the one that bought Crunchyroll. So I don't know why they'd be closing the Funimation app and not Crunchyroll's. Fucking weird. Because, honestly, Funimation's was really cool, in my opinion. I feel like they're closing it because anyone who has a Crunchyroll account is already paying more than you would have if you had a Funimation account. So Funimation mm -hmm. was only like 8 bucks yeah. a month. Uh, it was probably, it's like probably 10. a money thing, yeah. Crunchy's like 10 
Like maybe Crunchyroll had more subscribers than Funimation did, and Crunchyroll's price was higher. True. I think it, you know it might actually it might actually be a subscription thing. I feel like there was a, there. I feel like Crunchyroll for some reason was a lot more popular in that aspect. Yep. So. I get all my Sorry. anime from Netflix and Hulu, so I. Have yeah, that's what I do, and like I don't know, I kind of want to get Crunchyroll. Yeah, I I have I I mean I have Crunchyroll. I still have Funimation for a bit because like I canceled it, but like it's it's still there until it renews, or it's supposed to renew. But now that it's I don't canceled, know, like, is there anything that's like exclusively Funimation and Crunchyroll? Uh, yeah, the One Piece dub. <laughs> And Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan was only on Funimation, apparently. No, it's on Hulu. I watched it on Hulu. I mean, like, yeah. out of the two, it was only on Funimation. Oh. Yeah. Talking, like, as a whole. I know Jujutsu Kaisen was only on Crunchyroll. Yeah. But that's the only one that I actually know of. Which, by the way, they're coming out with a movie. We don't need to talk about it. No, right? you don't want to talk about the movie. Okay. No, I don't want to fucking serve you right. Okay. Sorry, okay. Colin. Okay. Sorry, okay. Colin. I know, I know. We're 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 these fucking weebs. It's okay. You can tell us to our face. Go ahead. I can take it. Has anyone seen Fire Force? Fuck yeah! I've yeah. seen Fire Force. <laughs> Season two kind of sucked. I still can't finish season two. I don't. I'm what. Ah, I'm like halfway through it, and it just doesn't feel the same as season one did. Yeah, you son of a same impact. Yeah, because it's leading up to season three. Fucking assholes! I, yeah. I, come <laughs> on, <laughs> man! <laughs> God, right, you think I was happy with the last season of My Hero? No, not yeah, at all. No, no, except for Doofenshmirtz, so it's kind of weird. Except for Doofenshmirtz, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> straight up. No, it's called a lead up. They want you to. They gotta leave you wanting more. Finish it. It's here's yeah, the thing yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Fire Force, <laughs> where as other animes just fucking lead you on and lead you on, they actually give you some answers along the way. You know, right. it's not yeah. right, thousand well, episodes in <laughs> still asking questions. <laughs> Are is there a one piece? Love one piece. Is there, <laughs> is there even a one piece? <laughs> the one piece is real, you fucks. Just watch Marine Corps. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, what is the one piece? Is it a piece of gold? What is it? So the one piece is supposed to be this like mythical treasure that only Gold Goldie Roger found on the last island of uh the Grand Line, they call it. So he's the only person who's ever been to this island, and that's where the One Piece is. And if you have the One Piece, you pretty much become King of the Pirates, which is what Luffy wants to do. So that's the entire synopsis for... Yeah, so that's what it is if it were real. But it's not, it so. it is, What do you mean it's not real? So people are, people are like, thinking, like, or, or at least saying, like, okay, the One Piece better not be a fucking, the treasure of the friends you found along the way. It better not be the fucking <laughs> journey. We better <laughs> see what the fucking One Piece is. You know what I mean? Like, people are, like, getting, like, antsy about it. But at the same time, they're kind of sad because, like, with That's the weird. Wano arc, with the Wano arc, one piece is going to be ending soon it is 100 percent ending soon because like there's no need to like add like 50 more islands there's absolutely at least like maybe like five more islands and i don't know how many more arcs really probably only like three hmm. so basically so... people just don't want it to have the same moral of the story as naruto yeah naruto was the power trailer. of friendship Naruto is so that's, fucking that's, mid. That wasn't the whole thing of Naruto. Yes, yes it, it fucking was. was. Don't at me. Talk God damn it. Naruto to... talked his way out of every fucking situation. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah we were yeah, trying yeah. to fucking watch Naruto. And then it was like, they were in a fucking bubble of mist, right? And then it ended up explaining it. And then we were like, okay, what's the next episode going to be? Halfway through that fucking shit is just them explaining the same fucking situation they were already in the last episode. Yep. 
And how can you call an anime that is literally more filler than it is fucking, like, actual content? How can you call it, like, anything higher than mid? There's no fulfilling fight scenes because no one dies unless they kill themselves, basically. Like... It's so fucking annoying. Like, I know you're in pain, Zabazu. Just let it go. Be with him. By the way, it is a him. That was wild. <laughs> and I am just dissing on Naruto, not Naruto Shippuden. Shippuden is its own thing, but it does have Shippuden's a lot of filler. Better. I think Shippuden's better. But... I actually think the original Naruto is a little bit more fulfilling. I feel like a lot more happened in the old Naruto. Like, we had, like, the war. Well, it was also, had, like, like a quarter of the length. True. So that didn't have enough room for all those fillers. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, but, okay. Back to before. What should I prioritize? Jujutsu Kaisen or, for or Fire Force? Just finish off Fire Force. You might as well. Okay, I haven't finished Fire Force. You need to finish that. <laughs> okay, I'll finish Fire Force. And then once, and then when you're comfy with it, since the movie's coming out, just watch Jujutsu Kaisen for the movie, like Alyssa did with Demon Slayer. Yeah. yeah. Is Demon Slayer good? I'm getting the same. Absolutely. Demon Slayer is fucking gorgeous. What? Where's it on? Is it on Hulu? It's on Hulu. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's on and Hulu. Funimation. Or and Crunch Netflix. Ball. Yeah. It's genuinely probably my favorite anime. I'm not even lying about that. It's so fucking good. Really? Yeah. I like how colorful it is. The character, uh, the char oh, character, no, the, the character design is really good. Um, like so the checker people, patterns on the guy. It's, it's mm -hmm. yeah. So people say like the animation carries Demon Slayer. I disagree. I think the story is genuinely fine. Like, I feel like there's a lot of, like, growth, and I don't see any problem with, like, any of the characters. I think they're all super lovable, especially Inosuke. He's fucking awesome. Mm. Um, yeah, no, it's all right. It's great. I, I, yeah, it's I pretty can't recommend that one enough. Honestly, if it was competing with Attack on Titan, that should fucking say something. Like, on your oh, Sundays. I... It was coming out the same time on those Sundays, so, like... People yeah. were literally like, "Do I, do, do, which one do I want to watch first? You know what I mean? Like, they're both True. super fucking good. I think Attack on Titan deserves it because it's the last season, and um, yeah, yeah, and it kind of hit a slowing season. point after a good few episodes. Like things are slowing down to build up more, so people wanted to see the excitement of Demon Slayer first. So they prioritized mm. it." Interesting how you say that, Honk. What? I thought you didn't know about the slowing down and building up concept as Colin had stated before about Fire Force. It's just, fuck you, okay? How about that? <laughs> it's, <laughs> fuck you, okay? <laughs> you got got, Honk. You got got. It's, it's different, right? <laughs> Colin, what is your favorite anime? Favorite anime? Yes. Uh, does that include like anime like or just anime? Just anime, anime like mean? Just anime. Yeah. Well, some. My life. My favorite. Anime, but... My favorite like. sort of uh, like adult animation, I guess I should say, is uh, Castlevania on Netflix. That's, that's what I was going to say. I, I feel like Castlevania is not much of an anime. Right, that's why I was asking. Yeah. Like, that last um, airbender is, like, anime-like. Right, yeah. it falls into... No, no, no. mm -hmm. uh, just purely anime. Just purely it's a uh, tie between My Hero and Fire Force. Hmm. Oh, oh, lie. Three-way tie. Black Clover's in there, too. Oh, oh I gotta we're still watch watching that. Black Clover. Oh shit! But then there's also there's a there's I watched too. Much. <laughs> this was a horrible question. Okay, ten way tie. <laughs> yeah, no, because there's a bunch of like old classics that I have close to my heart and whatnot, and now there's all right. this like good new shit. And like I do like Demon Slayer. Um, 
but saying that it is carried by its animation is a little valid, I think, because while I do like a lot of the characters, the villain concept is really basic. They're all demons, and they look all human. For the most part, they have their transformations and whatnot, but it's a very uh, basic system that is done before, especially like you said, Attack on Titan. Yeah, it's the same concept of you could lose your family at any second, and that's been done over and over and over in animes. And I think I've just seen too many, so it still feels like the same concept to me. It, But it does look really beautiful. Colin, let me ask you something really quick. Um, yeah. So, or actually, let me tell you really quick. I love Fire Force. I love it dearly. Um, can you honestly tell me with a straight face that you love it every single time they make a fire pun? A fire pun? Oh, no, here's the thing. I live for puns. That's that's entirely... I'm I'm a dad and a 65-year-old man at heart he and a 23-year-old body. <laughs> like, it's not even funny. I, I live for puns. Uh, so well, every time and every yeah. time he says some sort of ridiculous like hero title like I'm uh, punch the princess to her senses man or something like that I lose my shit because oh. what the hell <laughs> is that I just imagine like the captain is just like I'm all fired up and Colin's just like nuts to see Jack. Okay, wait, right there. but <laughs> I'm all fired up is from Fairy Tale. That's Natsu, man. I love Natsu. You know, I, I fucking love Natsu. I love Fairy Tale. Juvia is still like a top three. Um, yeah, she's top three for waifus. Juvia's really good. She's my favorite character on that show. She's so fucking cool. Natsu's in the bottom of my list. Extra Natsu is. Yeah. Not gray too. is gray's above Natsu. Gray was yeah. suicidal the entire because he's related series. to fucking Juvia. Natsu is annoying. Uh, what the, what's his cat name again? Happy. happy. Fuck happy. Fuck fucking <laughs> Natsu. I'm done. I'm tired of this like macho man stereotype. I'm like ah, I, I don't like it. I don't like his catchphrase. I don't like. He's just annoying. Jared was watching that show and he made me watch it with them. I just I was just. Reading Natsu. I kind of liked how uh, he ended up being like a very big catalyst piece in like the ending. Um, but yeah, no, Gray was literally suicidal during that entire anime, so I don't, I don't know if you want. I don't know why he'd be above Natsu, but that's uh, that's not my. Opinion. I'm being dramatic, like yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen that show, but I've just. Every time I think of fairy tale, it's like it's not too it's being annoying. That's all I got out of it. That's fair. That's pretty fair. I feel like you have a hard on for uh, fires, uh, Colin. Thinking thinking about your list there. Mm, you think? I mean, Fire Force <laughs> is really the only fire. Yeah. Endeavor and um. I didn't tell you what heroes I liked from my hero. You don't or have or to. villains. You love already, Endeavor though. I already know it's Dobby. I already know it's Endeavor. I already know it's fucking Shoto. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> it's okay. He's like, uh. Is he wrong? Uh, <laughs> which Shoto? Wait, which Shoto? Todoroki. Which Todoroki? No, Aizawa, just... bro. Huh? Is that Shota? He's Shota. Shota. Shota? Yeah, no. His name is I like Shota? Eraserhead. Eraserhead's great. Eraserhead, yeah. yeah. Also, Hawks is pretty dope. Hawks I love Hawks. Fuck, in my opinion. Um, yeah. But, fun fact, Hawks was introduced in the same scene as Endeavor, so, like, I mean, what were you really watching it for? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, what is your favorite anime? I, hit, I don't know what your vibe is with it. Um... Yeah, the Promised Neverland. I don't know what it I've is. I've heard shit. of it. Oh, I still haven't seen the second Isn't season. Isn't that real sad? Yeah. <laughs> What's it about? So depressing. Um, it's about kids getting murked, right? Yeah. I, I was kids, asking all of that. Kids are basically like raised <laughs> um to be fed. Um, like they're taught in school to feed their brains. And the smarter that they are, the more that their brains are worth. 
to these monsters, basically. And uh, the kids find out and try to escape. Do they only like, eat the brain? I think so. Oh. I think, no, I'm I think the brain shit. is for, like, the, the higher-ups. And then the the entire body oh. is, like, for the low-lifes. Right. Yeah. It's like, uh. however, like, smart they are, it's like the higher quality meat they are. Like, yeah. the Brainiacs are like A1 Wagyu beef. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Please, please don't ever talk like that again. <laughs> what? A... You just called a child a one way. <laughs> well, that's how it is. That's how they made the fucking anime. Yeah. That is not. How, I'm sure that's not how they described a child. You think uh, the you watched it, didn't you? You? you think the monsters <laughs> are just sitting there like that shit was busting respect? Yes, that's literally what <laughs> happened. They're like, oh yeah, the, the smarter ones are graded higher, and those ones are for the higher up top one percenter type monsters or whatever top one percenters yeah Big okay real boss quick boys. everybody uh number one anime that made you cry three zero oh fuck Ooh. darling and franks fuck my hero fuck my hero my maybe hero. my hero it's not an anime Our but hero. it's the cowboy bebop movie the live action? Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, no. Not animated. Uh, knock on Heaven's cheap. Door. Not animated, but animated. Uh, Kipo, Age of the Wonder Beast. That's on Netflix. Sobbed a million times. <laughs> um, fuck me. I don't know what, like, really. I know there's so many that made me actually cry. Like, I know for sure I've fucking cried. Um, I want to know. I gotta look at my list. During my hero, there, buddy. When did you cry during my hero, dude? Every time the Endeavor fight when he's fighting the Nomu, <laughs> it just gives me fucking chills. Every Agreed. time. <laughs> wow, well, that's a good one. Uh, I think for me, fuck me. When is it? Oh no! You know, One Piece has made me cry. I think more than any other anime so far. Dude, Dude, One Piece can make episodes. you cry over inanimate objects. It's insane. Get out. Shut up it's about amazing. the boat. The boat, man. The fucking God. boat. <laughs> and then and then there's other shit after that. Like right before the time skip, bro. Balling. Balling my fucking eyes out. Balling. Yeah. <laughs> Balling. <laughs> What about you, Colin? What, what made you uh, all misty-eyed? I gotta give it out to uh, Kill La Kill. Uh, or Hunter Hunter. Hunter Both Hunter, Hunter, Hunter yeah. dude! That did was you, did you eventually you finish it, or what? I ha uh, Bro, okay, so I just got past uh, the uh, nuclear suicide. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, oh. shit! Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, the fuck. That what's was... it called? The rose, something rose. Yeah, something rose. I, I don't remember. It's been too long. But I'm. Uh, I decided to rewatch it before I finished good. it. Good. Yeah. I fucking love that one. Yeah, so good. The Chimera just... Ant arc was like good, but it was oh. also really like I feel like it was too long. <laughs> it's long no, that but... because it was a shift. It was a total shift in tone this was suddenly more like a survival horror unless you were a new yeah. and then user like it was yeah, fucking sure. that that would be terrifying bro these things eat you take on your traits and spawn your consciousness what the yeah. fuck even for nen users what? like they're still getting hella oh, yeah. overpowered like that one dude in the b girl that was pretty sad like he was trying to hide but pitof pitof pit not I P2. forgot P2. Yeah, P2. Nefer P2. Nefer like, P2. Why is that motherfucker hiding under those bodies? Like, and they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, yeah. Fucked. It, that, it really was a change of tone. The Chimera. It was so arc. fucking gruesome. Yeah. Can we also talk Hunters. about Hisoka for a second. I love and hate him so much. 
He's good. Creepy but good. Okay, wait. Have have y'all watched the subbed or the dubbed? Because I promise in the sub he's less pedophilic. (laughs) In the dub, he sounds so horny for him. Like it's bad. Oh god. (laughs) Yeah, I, don't I, I almost I was like I need to watch this in Japanese. I feel <laughs> dirty. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, who volunteered? Yeah, violated. I'm watching okay. Sao uh, dubbed, like um, anything dubbed. True. Disgusting. One Piece dubbed. They're not, I'm violated. Okay. You know, you know how you can tell the translations suck because Attack on Titan, the rough translation is Attack on Titan. But the actual translation is Attack Titan, which is Eren's Titan. Makes more sense, right? Oh. <laughs> what is Attack on Titan? What? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of weird. You know what I, I do hate, though, is like people saying it's actually Kimitsuya no Yaba or some shit like that for Demon Slayer. Kimitsu no Yaba? Some yeah, shit like that, yeah. I yeah. There's no that. need for you to prove that you can pronounce pronounce something in Japanese. <laughs> like... yeah, just fucking say Demon Slayer. <laughs> okay, I fucking hate no, that. No, Kimetsu no Yaiba is a fixed angle blade. It's just the rest of the name. It's not a translation. No, they, people, yeah, but people are saying that that's the fucking name of the the anime. That's the actual name of the anime. That's just because, like, when you search it on some sites, that's what'll bring up the show and not Demon Slayer think well yeah but like the I show said, or the... Is super dope i think but... it's catchy like attack on titan it's like it's like a kind of a grammatical error so you're like it fixed with your brain a lot quicker and you get curious and you're like oh this show's cool yeah but like it feels like the reason people think americans are dumb <laughs> yeah. it's like wow they didn't translate that right okay but like in what? <laughs> I was having a hard but in time Japan, <laughs> they like they have the English translation all around with the on part in there. Well, that's because it's the brand at that point. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they're stuck with it. It is what it is. What the fuck? Also, fuck why would they let that go on? Fuck you for that the one piece dubbed comment. There's just certain <laughs> animes that need to be dubbed, and there's certain animes, animes that need to be subbed. Hunter mm. Hunter needed to be subbed. I tried to, I accidentally heard an episode of that shit dubbed. Never again in my fucking life. Never ever would I want to hear that. Uh, Dragon Ball? Goku sounds goddamn weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, subbed. So dubbed is the way to go on that one for me. Same thing with Luffy, that's why I watch dubbed, because Luffy sounds fuck. Frankie sounds fucking horrendous on subbed. So, I'm just- I only do it if they don't sound fucking goofy. Like- Like you? I think they're- <laughs> I wanna have like, this fucking episode right Luffy now. Yes. <laughs> That's fair. Nice. I remember when uh, Heck told me to watch the dub to My Hero and All Might. I could not with his voice after watching the sub. I was like, <laughs> this isn't right. Feels wrong. It yeah. doesn't feel right to watch him dubbed is what you're saying? It didn't at first. It, it's, it's grown on me more now that I've watched both the dubbed and subbed a few times for My Hero, but initially his, his uh, English voice just didn't sit right. I love it. Right. I think it works the best. I think it works a lot better, in my opinion. Than the original? Me. Yeah, so, like, for My Hero, my excuse for that one being uh, dubbed was, like, it feels very American. Hawk, I swear to God, I will drop I knew exactly right what you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> my excuse for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had the same reasoning, but I, I, I still watch it in sub, though. It was, it was, like, it feels very American catered. Like, it doesn't feel like uh, yeah. you're really in Japan. It feels like an American 
made anime for some reason. I don't know how else to explain that. So like dubbed just seemed like the better option to go with. We're talking about my hero still, right? Yeah. yeah. There's like a lot of Aryan characters. Like all my um it's the only character I can think of. Um <laughs> Aryan. But he has like kind of like American patriotic vibes to him anyway. That's yeah, like so. they'll say like Delaware Smash, yeah. fucking all these different like American cities and states and shit. And I don't know, it just doesn't give off the most Japanese vibes all the time. Yeah. Yeah. That's why that's why I'm like leaning more dubbed. Yeah. That's yeah. one like I can go either way on it based in japan but they wanted the main hero to have a upbringing in america at least for his origin so like right. it, there's character reasons for it it's not like it's just there mm -hmm. right yeah so that was just my reason for the dubbed on that that's fair and there is like um I, I took Japanese in high school, which, I mean, it was a while ago, but uh, my Japanese teacher said there is a fair amount of what they call Amerikanji in Japan, which kanji is uh, easier to read characters, I would say, because there's quite a few alphabets. Uh, because we're stupid. But it's it's basically like English words said it with a Japanese accent. Like, that's that's what they sound like. Interesting. Yeah. What's a good example? What talk? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> um, hamburger. Like, uh, it's just it's hamburger <laughs> death. Like, right? Yeah. Hamburger. Because that's what, well, and also hamburgers uh, that comes from Germany. So that's that's uh, <laughs> language is hamburger. weird. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Hamburger. I don't know. Well, it's like Japanese to English. Ones if it's like agua. You know what I mean? Like, uh, see, they don't really. Well, uh, they don't. They also don't have that because, like, English is a second language in a lot of countries, especially like in Europe and in the Asias, they start learning it like third and fourth grade because it's used in business and a lot. So if you want to be successful in those countries, it usually involves getting connections outside of them. Um, so it's English is like we don't I don't think we really realize how how much it's actually used like people I feel like in school it was downplayed and how much like people use English outside of it. They're like, you're going to have to learn a second language, but it's it's like it taken off as the main business language because a lot of countries use u.s currency because it's more reliable than the chinese currency especially with like a lot of businesses that do business with china they demand that the business be done in u.s currency rather than chinese currency because i think it has more value don't it yeah exactly so. yeah well because it, with a communist country it's everybody's equal and they're just you know, you get the money. We're, I mean, obviously, in the U.S., we, we're not on the gold standard either. <laughs> we haven't been for such a long time. It's all a joke, in my opinion. But that's beside the point. <laughs> yeah, I think I think people are saying we need to base it off of Bitcoin now or some shit. As well. That's all not right, though. Especially these digital currencies. Like, yes, we're definitely moving towards something, but what is happening now is not the thing you should be focusing on. It should be the next steps. Because right now, all these things that are available are essentially worthless. If you can make money off of them, great. Yeah, draw some pictures, sell your NFTs for thousands of bucks. Whoever you're hustling, that's their problem. But don't do it yourself. That's a waste of money. Yo, yeah, I'm waiting for crazy. Shiba to go to the moon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's taking a fucking Look. long launch. Holy it's it's shit. stabilized. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm. Just, I apologize. I apologize. Apologies if you guys wanted to keep talking, but we are literally like yeah, 10 we're minutes over our limit. Um, we're thank like you guys an for hour watching. 40. Yeah, we're an hour. We're literally at an hour forty right now uh firstly wait 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 before we go of course we need to answer our question from last week right 
Is Robert De Niro <sighs> circumcised? What is our consensus? Colin, do you think he's circumcised? No. I say no. I don't think so. Yes. Really? Yes. Like, why do you have to be in the black belly? sheet? <laughs> I don't want to. It just makes sense. If he was, let me, let me look this up right quick. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, his practices Robert in the United Indiro. States is the, the 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 typical practices of circumcision is very popular inside the United States, and he was born. It's not like it's not like an if it makes sense that he is like he oh it's just a theoretical is. one yeah it's more so like what like you look at the guy uh, like, does he look like, like you look at him what do you feel do you oh. feel like oh, his vibes are hell. circumcised or not <laughs> like it's, it's I'm weird. sorry I'm taking this too serious mm -hmm. yeah, just follow Damn. your heart okay I got to get a good gander at him I just had him my bad. Oh, All right. Wait. He gives uncut vibes. I mean, just the name, really. <laughs> Robert De Niro. Hold up. Okay, maybe we should start like looking up the answer and like saying the answer after we say our answer. But they're not going to usually just say they answer? are. I mean, yeah. I'm seeing right now. Okay. Director Sergio Leone found it hilarious and shot a scene of De Niro's circumcised penis. Blah, 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 blah. So, maybe he is. I'm gonna I'm actually stick with Kelly. I think he's cut. Oh, you just heard the answer. No, so now you want to stop <laughs> him. What the fuck? No, no, no. I, I looked at him and I was like, yeah, that's kind of, that's, that's, that's some cut vibe. I don't know. He still he... gives uncut vibes, even now that I know the truth. I think he's uncut. Yeah. You think right. He's secretly uncut. <laughs> who, who next, though? Colin, you no, want to no, give no, a suggestion? No. You had another. You had another one. Who is the female from last week? Oh, Michelle Obama. Michelle. <laughs> we answered Michelle. Yeah, we answered that one. one. I didn't it, it give was... a female. Was it Mila Kunis? Yes, you did. It was the bitch from uh, Blade Runner. Oh, oh uh, Anadarmus. Yeah. yeah. Anadarmus. She got small tits. She got tiny little... Oh, she, she's perfection. Okay. So now we're going to hear what it was, Colin. So... What? Mm -hmm. We're doing... Um, okay. For females, it's... Though. um, Like, what kind of nipples do you think they have? Or are we doing the labias or no? No, let's not do labias. That feels a little bit weird. Alyssa oh, finds that offensive. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. We're talking about labias. <laughs> What's We're labia? talking about foreskin. It's not like it's a political stance, Alyssa. We're not even talking about dick oh, and piss. Kelly. Are you, you don't know what a labia is? I think it's in the vagina, right? Not in. Why, why are you talking to him like he's a child? <laughs> he's like, what's a labia? You don't know what it is. Oh, this poor little gay doesn't boy know doesn't know what it is. Is, is it, um, uh, it's like the G spot, right? No. Oh, it's, buddy, it's time to go back lips? to high school sex ed. It's it's the roast biff. It's the lips. It's the lips. Or like the inner lips. It's or the <laughs> outer lips. No, we're talking about the oh. inner lip here, though. Why are you talking about Anyways. <laughs> anyway, okay, back to it. Into the armis. God, fuck. Stay on the topic, nips. guys. Uh, I think they're tiny. I don't think she really has uh, any of those. I think they're the average type. Yeah, let me oh, see. Someone sent a picture of the different types of nipples in our group chat recently. That was Kelly. Yeah. Kelly, you're close to that. <laughs> there was okay. one nipple in particular that was literally just a dick. A... <laughs> Dude, that one's fucking weird. All right, I think she's type D. If. 
I don't think you should share. Is this allowed? Is that allowed? I don't think so, dude. There's Liz's face on the bottom. It's a drawing. Oh my gosh. I think type D though. What's your consensus, please, so we can wrap this shit up? I wasn't sure who this was, so I'm looking her up right now. Uh, I gotta say, tiny titties, tiny nipples. Same. I agree. Like tiny, tiny, like. I feel like there's no areola. I feel like it's just the nipple. You think she's that? <laughs> but there is a chance that she's got those, like, perkies, and, like, there's, like, salamis. Have you if ever she, seen like, those? If she just got out of the shower, right, and her boobs are all, they're already tiny, so there's going to be some, like, it's going to be a little bit higher. There's going to be perky tits. I think they're going to be small. I don't think her tits are small. Do we got to look up her tits now? Okay. Maybe a B, but no bigger. Come okay, on, they're guys. not small. Okay, those, those. <laughs> I think I like that size. Intellectual copy. I'm looking at three <laughs> dudes looking on their computer. Like I need answers. It's like that. You guys are like, don't do research. Oh. It's just based off of vibes for the men. <laughs> okay, but for well, the women, they're like, okay, the well, to get the vibes. A cup or a B cup, guys. Oh, come on. <laughs> I yeah, I, I, it has to be based off a, a guessing game. Is that right. what it's based off I, of? So, yeah, so I I'd say they're quarter size. Because I didn't actually even know the actress. Like, I forgot what she looked like. So I just looked at her and I was like, yeah, I don't think there's any areolas. That's my consensus. Well, I hate like the way you use the word areolas, though. Nickel size. I'm thinking quarter size. Oh, you Penny. The one up, Alyssa. <laughs> you Penny? The one down, Alyssa. <laughs> Penny, let me get a penny and fucking Colin. I swear, if you say dime, <laughs> oh, I literally no. Here's the thing. I'm Half looking dollar. at some change right now, and moles was basically dime. Are you? That's small. I'm sorry. But like, are you just talking about the the part that sticks out of the nipple, or like no, the whole the nipple, the entire nipple? Because because that seems like ring around. if someone's quarter, like center quarter part, seems like a lot. Maybe like a no, penny like seems nickel. good. No, a quarter, a like a like average. Not about like the size to put of a, a penny quarter. on the nipple. But I guess if we're, <laughs> that's no. like still small. Teensy tiny. I think they're nickel sized. <laughs> this is such a intellectual. This is an we're all awesome fucking episode. Nah. Yeah, Penny. I'm I'm We're from the Renaissance. Hundred percent. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. Thank you uh, all for listening. To wait, this we have to episode. put. We have people. one person. We have to. Oh, a fucking um, fine. All right. We'll just do the dude this time. We'll just do the dude. Maybe we'll alternate weekly. No. Uh, Colin, suggest. Yeah, choose a, a dude. A dude. Brian Reynolds. Ooh bad all right whether so he's cut or not guys... don't matter to me <laughs> leave you guys I'm consensus picky. in the comments <laughs> <I'm picky. laughs> uh and do you want to do the female or just the dude female 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 amber heard sure gonna have to look her up but sure yep. wait She's... Uh, look at her. She's Aquaman. Aquaman's that bitch. girlfriend. Yeah, fuck her, but still. Who? Uh, Aquaman's she was Johnny girlfriend. Depp's. Uh, the one who tried to get Johnny Depp. Oh, no. Oh, uh, the bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ryan I Ryan got Ryan. answers for both already, but we're going to save it for next time. Yeah. We got to let the audience make a decision. Thank you. Comment guys below. For ask your friends. Can I please end this fucking episode? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I was just helping out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, all right? Uh, thank you for listening to literally almost two hours of this Renaissance Man podcast. Fucking hell. Uh, Colin, thank you again for coming on. We can't wait to see you again. Thank you for talking about dicks and nips and all that good stuff with us and teaching us a, a thing or two about Elden Ring. Uh, if you guys uh, want to check any of us out, uh, you can see our links up on the videos right here. 
and listen to the other episode so you can get some context for Kelly being a fucking nerd about Snake Eater. Uh, anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one. See ya.